Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will learn how to use Tally Prime's eWay Bill report for various eWay Bill activities. These activities include getting the latest eWay Bill information or status in the transaction, updating Part B and transporter details, and extending eWay Bill validity. Tally Prime release 2.0 onwards, you have a connected eWay Bill experience and can perform these activities using the eWay Bill report in Tally Prime. Let's first see how to get eWay Bill information for a transaction using the eWay Bill report in Tally Prime. You may have completed an eWay Bill activity such as generation or cancellation for a transaction on the eWay Bill system or using any medium other than Tally Prime. However, the status of that transaction in Tally Prime is pending. In such a situation, you can use the Get eWay Bill Information option. Subsequently, the latest information will get updated in the transaction in seconds. Let's see how to do it. Open the eWay Bill report, press Alt G, type or select eWay Bill and press Enter. As you can see, there are transactions under all the categories of the pending for exchange with eWay Bill system section. Let us consider that there is a transaction in for generation under pending for exchange with eWay Bill system. However, you have already generated eWay Bill for it on the eWay Bill system or using any medium other than Tally Prime. Drill down on the section. Press spacebar to select the transaction for which eWay Bill is already generated. Now, click Get eWay Bill Information or press F6. The eWay Bill login screen appears as you can see. Enter your username and password. You will remain logged in for the next 6 hours provided you do not turn off the system you are working on or reset the credentials. Press Enter. As you can see, Tally Prime is exchanging the information with the eWay Bill system. Subsequently, the latest eWay Bill information gets updated in the transaction. Moreover, the transaction moves to the eWay Bill generated without Part B section. As you can see, the transaction is not in for generation under the pending for exchange with eWay Bill system section anymore. Press Escape and drill down on the eWay Bill generated without Part B section. As you can see, the transaction is here. You can do this activity for a transaction under any section to fetch the latest eWay Bill information. Let's take another example. If a transaction is under Rejected by eWay Bill system and you have already performed the required activity, generation or cancellation on the eWay Bill system or using any medium other than Tally Prime, then you can use the Get eWay Bill information to fetch the latest information. Now, let's see how to update eWay Bill Part B for a transaction. There can be some transactions for which you have generated an eWay Bill without Part B. This happens when you do not have the transporter details such as transporter ID, vehicle number and other mandatory information for eWay Bill generation with Part B. So, you will be updating Part B later. There can be transactions for which eWay Bill was generated after which you entered the transporter ID and other transporter details. However, you are yet to update Part B. Such transactions will be in for Part B updation under pending for exchange with the eWay Bill system. Drill down on the section and use the Update Part B button. Select the transaction for which you want to update Part B. Now, click Update Part B or press F7. 
the Part B Updation Details screen appears. Select the mode of transport from the given options. Let's say Road. Now, enter the vehicle number and also select the vehicle type. Now, press Ctrl A to save. You can then send the transaction for eWay Bill Part B updation through Exchange on the top menu. Click Exchange and then send for eWay Bill. As you can see, the transaction is available under for Part B updation. You can select the transaction and send for Part B updation. Tally Prime exchanges information with the eWay Bill system. Thereafter, the Part B information gets updated in the transaction. The transaction will move to the eWay Bill generated with Part B section. If you had cancelled the updation of Part B on the eWay Bill system because of the change in the transporter or some other issues, then you can undo Part B updation in Tally Prime so that the voucher will move to its previous section. Drill down on eWay Bill generated with Part B. Just select the transaction and press F7. Press Y when the confirmation screen appears. As you can see, the transaction has disappeared from this section. Press Escape, drill down on for Part B updation under Pending for Exchange with eWay Bill System and you can see that the transaction has started appearing here. You must know that undoing Part B updation in Tally Prime will only remove the Part B details from the transaction. It will not have any impact on the status of eWay Bill on the eWay Bill system. So, you will still need to undo the Part B updation on the eWay Bill system. Thereafter, the Undo Part B Updation button will help you update your eWay Bill report as the transaction will move to the appropriate section. If you have already updated Part B for a transaction on the eWay Bill system, but it is in for Part B Updation under the Pending for Exchange eWay Bill System section, then you can use the Mark Part B as Updated option. Drill down on for Part B updation under Pending for Exchange with eWay Bill System. Press Ctrl F7 or click the hidden key adjacent to the Update Part B button. The Part B updation details screen appears. Press Ctrl A to save and the transaction will disappear from the section and will move to the Generated with Part B section. Let's now take a look at the process of updating the Transporter ID. You may have generated eWay Bill with Part B and now you want to update the Transporter ID as another transporter is replacing the existing transporter. This situation arises when a different vehicle is going to carry the consignment or a different logistics company is going to handle transportation. In such cases, you will have to update the transporter ID. Let's see how to update the transporter ID. Drill down on the eWay Bill generated with Part B section and then click Update Transporter ID. Select the transporter name and then enter the transporter ID. Press Ctrl A to save. Thereafter, you can send for Part B updation through the Send for eWay Bill option under Exchange on the top menu. If the transporter changes again, then you can use the Undo Transporter ID Updation button in Tally Prime and update the transporter ID again. Just select the transaction and press Alt F8. Thereafter, the transporter ID will be removed from the transaction. You can also use the Mark Transporter ID as updated if you have already updated but the status is pending in the report. Press Ctrl F8 
and then save the update transporter ID detail screen. You can also extend the validity of eBay bill using Tally Prime. Let's see how to do that. There can be an unexpected delay in the delivery of goods either due to vehicle breakdown or some other obstacle. In such a case, you can extend the validity of eBay bill. However, you can extend eBay bill only if it is active and about to expire in 8 hours. Let's see how to do it. Drill down on the eBay bill generated with Part B or without Part B section as applicable. For now, let's drill down on the eBay bill generated without Part B section. Select the transaction for which the validity of eBay bill needs to be extended. Press F9 or click Extend eBay bill. In the eBay bill extension detail screen, enter the remaining distance in kilometers. This entry will affect the validity of eBay bill. Let's enter 10 kilometers. Press Ctrl A to save. Thereafter, you can send the transaction for eBay bill extension using Send for eBay bill under Exchange on the top menu. If the goods are delivered on time, then you will be cancelling the extension. So, you can use the Undo Extension button in Tally Prime. Let's see how you can undo the extension in Tally Prime. For example, let's drill down on for eBay bill extension under Pending for Exchange with eBay bill system. The transaction is here. Select the transaction and press Alt F9 which is the hidden key for undoing the extension. Press Y to accept. Subsequently, the transaction will move to its previous section which in this case is eBay bill generated without Part B. If the eBay bill is extended on the system but not reflecting in the report, then you can use the Mark as Extended option. Press Ctrl F9 and save the eBay bill extension detail screen. As demonstrated, you can use the eBay bill report in Tally Prime for various eBay bill activities and based on your action, the report gets updated. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com.